Hermit crabs are of the phylum Crustacea of the order Decapoda. Hermit crab species can be marine or terrestrial, and their defining features are that they have ten walking legs and use empty gastropod shells to conceal their body as a form of protection from predators. As hermit crabs grow, they must seek larger gastropod shells to accommodate their body, as a small shell can reduce their growth rate. This leads to competition for larger shells. Hermit crabs may injure or kill other crabs in order to gain access to empty shells, or pry live crabs from their own shells. Cannibalism, the eating of other members of the same species, is widespread throughout the animal kingdom. From bears, to praying mantises, to fish, to orangutans. It seems that almost anything that eats can eat its neighbour. All carnivores have two strategies to choose from when faced with the passing of a member belonging to the same species, both of which have pros and cons. The first is to roll the dice and dabble in cannibalism. However, by attempting to have your former friend for lunch, you expose yourself to predation, meaning a predator might have you for lunch instead. The second strategy is to play it safe and not take the risk. However, in the animal kingdom, passing on a meal might be the difference between life and death, and therefore, it may not be an immediate risk, it can be a risk nonetheless. Previous research on hermit crabs indicated that these creatures would display the second strategy, anti-predator behaviour, as opposed to foraging behaviour when another crab was killed nearby. Hermit crabs were more cautious when exposed to the scent of deceased hermit crabs. However, this year, Mark Tran, a zoologist who works with hermit crabs at Michigan State University, observed a strange behaviour when experimenting on a species of them. He was trying to make their life unpleasant by exposing them to the scent of dead members of the same species. He expected that these hermit crabs would hide when aware that one has died, as previous research suggested. Instead, the hermit crabs actually became excited. Surprised by this, Tran hypothesized that the reason they were excited was because of the prospect of eating their fallen comrades. They are cannibals. To test this, he carried out two experiments. The first experiment involved sacrificial hermit crabs being hit over the head, mashed up, and placed into a tank. When the smell of hermit crab death hit the water, the other hermit crabs immediately responded with enthusiastic foraging behaviours, regardless if it was one of their own or another crab species. The second experiment tested whether they would have the courage to actually feast on the dead hermit crabs. Tran, once again, euthanizing hermit crabs respectfully by bashing their heads in, placed them as well as live crabs in the same tank. He predicted that if the hermit crabs were cannibals, the live crabs would feed on the dead ones. In only one instance did a test subject reject the meal and hide in its shell. However, while the hermit crabs were not hesitant to cannibalize, they were more eager to eat hermit crabs of another species. This study shows that science is dynamic, ideas within it often changing to accommodate new evidence that comes to light. It appears that hermit crabs are predisposed to cannibalistic behaviour and will take risks, facing the prospect of immediate danger over starvation.